promised i will try to be a little more regular with my rc sessions i i get a lot of feedback that they are eagerly looking forward to my rc sessions so let's pick up the passage today it says the ravens display many sophisticated behaviors in the wild so this is nothing but my observation right i can anticipate that i'm this paragraph is going to be about uh, ravens and their behavior experiments suggest that these behaviors result partly from logical reasoning not merely from instinct or rote learning so what we are trying to do here is that ravens behavior is a resulted from logical reasoning right not merely from instinct this is going to be interesting because animals are normally expected to be more instinctive or coming down from rote learning but uh, the experiments have suggested that the result partly from logical reasoning not all of it on critical reasoning slash rcs these words are going to be very important in one experiment ravens were presented with food hanging on a string to get the treat a raven had to repeatedly reach down from its perch and pull up the string with its beak stepping on the string after each pull to prevent slippage so i think this is nothing but a uh, experiment being elaborated on correct so this i think i would probably skip this and scan this a little quickly because for me i think this experiment is going to prove that how do ravens result i mean how is a particular behavior shown by raven resulting from logical reasoning but again let's read this some ravens examined the situation from for several minutes again an explanation and then quickly perform this multi step procedure on their first try without any preliminary trial and error since the ravens would not have previously encountered this situation in the wild they could not have learned it through past experience so this is not rote learning hence they apparently imagine possibilities and reason out what steps to take so overall this experiment is trying to show that they have some kind of logical reasoning in their mind for a particular behavior or for some particular behavior that they exhibited perfect let's go to the small summary of this paragraph so it says uh, key ideas ravens sophisticated behavior that's where we started from logical reasoning was something we were trying to prove there was an experimental setup we kind of realized there were imaginative problem solving and there was absence of prior learning so all of this shows that some behavior so i would write some behavior is resulting from some logical reasoning and not purely merely from rote learning perfect let's go to the next one so again pause the paragraph in operant behavioral conditioning of laboratory animals not just ravens each step in a desired behavioral sequence is typically rewarded with food so if i want you to do this then this then this and probably reach here these mid steps will have some kind of food as conditioning thus the animal can learn each step without understanding how it contributes to the overall outcome of the behavioral sequence because this animal would see this food would want to come here then this food then this food so it's a step by step thing and not something where the animal is seeing that what does he get at the end of it but no one step in the pull up sequence except the last because that's where the food was was rewarded with food and still the raven learned the raven had to accomplish the whole lengthy sequence in order to eat and he did not have food in the middle of the processes remember that skeptics might object however that each step was mentally rewarded simply because the food came nearer not because the raven already understood which actions would have this effect so skeptics are trying to say there was not so much of logical reasoning but there is again author coming in from the experiment but that explanation seems implausible if each step were acquired by trial and error learning presumably numerous trials would be required so he's assuming that you would need at least more than one trial to uh, have some kind of learning from trial and error and the entire sequence would probably take months of training and the way experiment was described i could simply say that it was just once and it at least did not show that there were months of training perfect let's go to this small summary of it uh, so key ideas operant behavioral conditioning step by step rewarding is uh, what normally animals would do there was different reward structure there was a challenge 
given by skeptics and there was something around trial and error learning perfect so let's go to the last paragraph over here researchers modified the experiments to find out if ravens could have solved the puzzle by random movements that happened to be rewarding but were unsupported by logic so let's see this time different ravens had to pull downward on the string to move the food upward right in this situation the ravens often yanked on the string occasionally bringing the food slightly closer but no raven look at this keyword but no raven executed the full necessary sequence of motions even though it was no more complex so they kind of learned something this suggest that ravens found pulling downward to move foot upward illogical that means they could differentiate what is logical and illogical and thus unlike in the first experiment could not deduce what actions were needed that means are they putting in some kind of mind maybe yes so it's unlike rot learning they're able to figure out and thus unlike in the first experiment could not deduce what actions were needed because they found it what illogical right so let's look at the small summary of this paragraph now so it says modified experiment there was one more experiment which was intended at raven solving the puzzle by random movements there was an inverse problem a good deal was about raven behavior there was an illogical action and which kind of resulted in a contrast to first experiment remember contrast to the first experiment not necessarily the outcome of it now let's look at the overall summary here this is going to be important the crux of the passage is that ravens display complex problem solving abilities and logical reasoning in novel situations new situations as demonstrated by their ability to deduce and execute multi step procedures to obtain food the contrast with typical operant conditioning method this was about the animals highlights the difference between rote learning and genuine understanding and what does it suggest it suggests that ravens possess cognitive abilities beyond simple trial and error learning so as i said this is going to be important if you see we have covered most of the paragraphs and this is something that i want you to create while you are doing your aon cases or while you are analyzing your reading comprehension test mocks from any institutes or the past year cat papers let's go to the first question the main purpose of the passage is to and i've realized that this is going to be always a part of your question present evidence that ravens are capable of logical reasoning could be because the whole experiments were being done to evaluate this describe various experiments designed to measure ravens mental ability where we measuring it or where we proving that they're capable of it i think the word capable would defeat the word measure here and because we have an option number a which is better worded i can remove option number b discuss the many sophisticated behaviors displayed by ravens there were evidences behind it but the paragraph was not about discussing the behavior it was more about presenting for a certain outcome so c is eliminated analyze the behavioral conditioning of ravens in a laboratory setting maybe this was an experiment being done to show how ravens act in general so if you see most of these options are nothing but specific paragraph based information which could be acting as premises now I've stated the term premise and i'll tell you in the critical reasoning sessions that i'm going to put what exactly are those words so at least not this answer the final answer here would be option number perfect let's go to the second question in the context of the passage the primary function of the second paragraph this was giving some kind of experiment if you remember right assess an alternative explanation of the raven's behavior in the first experiment this is true we were talking about evidences how does the raven do the whole experimentation so this is an option again i would keep on hold right some part of it this option is uh, striking clearly in my mind call into question the conclusion of the researchers not really the author was not calling into question the paragraph was not calling into question argue that animals in general can learn each step in a behavioral sequence without understanding how it contributes to the overall outcome i think this was about ravens animals were given food at each point of time and that argument was not about animals i think it was about raven if you see the paragraph was about ravens and not particularly about animals so c is eliminated present the main evidence in support of the claim that ravens are capable of logical reason fair enough but how do you call this as the main evidence we had nothing in the paragraph that implied that it was the 
main evidence and again the primary function was not to present the main evidence was presented to do something remember you would also have to talk about is to to plus assess wasn't the paragraph more about on the assess and not just to present present was being done to maybe assess something so you need to differentiate that what is written is not necessarily the purpose behind writing it when you are being asked the primary function you have to go by the intent and not necessarily what is written so the correct answer here is option number a let's go to the third question according to the passage in the first experiment some ravens i mean if you could probably take the paragraph back just take the cursor onto the first uh, experiment the first paragraph did not try out different procedures before successfully obtaining the food if i may help you to go into that part let's see what are we being stated so it says uh raven let's look at this uh some ravens examined the situation for several minutes and then quickly performed that means they did not perform this they just observed in that case can i not say that option number a which states what which states did not try out different procedures before successfully obtaining the food is an option i might want to keep on hold correct because they were just examining and in the moment they were asked to do that they did something so i could fairly say that they did not try out different procedures were mentally rewarded for each action that brought the food closer not in the first experiment discovered the pull up sequence without understanding how each step contributed to the overall outcome again not the first experiment maybe and they did not discover the pull up sequence here so b eliminated c eliminated did not have to study the situation in fact they were studying the situation they were not trying out the procedures so this probably is a problem they were in fact studying the situation d is also eliminated the final answer is option number a perfect let's go to the last one for the day today which of the following if true most weakens the argument that raven's behavior in the experiment described in the passage demonstrates logical reasoning uh, so we are looking at weakening the argument something that was done in the experiment the experiment were saying that raven's behavior is nothing but it does show some logical reasoning right and there was this experiment being conducted ravens in the wild have been observed to display similar problem solving abilities in other contexts so this could be a long shot strength and though it says other contexts but it kind of i can extrapolate the experiment and say oh my experiment says some logical reasoning and they are displaying similar problem solving abilities in other contexts in the wild that means my experiment is mildly successful and we have to weaken it so a is eliminated researchers conducting the experiment provided subtle cues to the ravens that guided their behavior now isn't this showing that they were guided by the by the by the cues here that means the ravens that were being put into experiment were biased because they had someone else directing them they were not doing this on their own and if they were not doing this on their own i could say that that is not primarily their logical reasoning so an option that puts some kind of biasness in the experiment will probably weaken it i'll keep this option on hold the same group of ravens consistently outperformed other groups on similar experiments indicating a predisposition to logical reasoning at least not a weakener for sure further experiments conducted with different animals okay probably a little out of the scope such as squirrels and pigeons produce comparable results in terms of problem solving abilities very good but what does this option do to ravens nothing so this is also eliminated the correct answer here is option number b because this was attacking this was showing that a sample that was being experimented on had some kind of biases involved during the experiment and because there is a bias your outcome will also have some kind of bias which is nothing but weakening the argument perfect so i hope you've started to get these a little more by looking at the previous videos i'll keep on bringing this more of these videos and as promised i'll keep on promising that i will be a little more regular i would also be putting up some critical reasoning some para jumble and other small snippets around your cat verbal ability rc prep please do comment if you like the videos and share it with your friends thank you very much